Welcome back to Rise to the Equation. Now that summer is in full swing, we'll probably be doing a lot of traveling. So, consider keeping your mind occupied with some fun license plate math. For example, here in Massachusetts, we have a license plate series that begins with a digit from 0 to 9, followed by three letters, followed by two more digits. So, we could have 1AAA11 as shown above. Let's start off with a fairly easy warm-up question. How many different plates could be produced with this pattern? Let's assume that we can repeat the same digit or letter as often as we'd like. So for the first digit, we'll have 10 possible options. For the first letter, we'll have 26 options. For the second letter, another 26 options. And for the third letter, another 26 options. Then 10 more options for the second digit. And finally, 10 options for the final third digit. To calculate the total number of possible license plates in this series, we just multiply all the numbers in the dashes above, which gives us 10 cubed times 26 cubed, and that comes out to 17,576,000. That's a lot of plates and more than enough to accommodate the number of drivers in Massachusetts. Okay, now let's crank it up a notch. Now suppose we wanted to know the probability that a randomly selected car with this plate series has all its letters in alphabetical order. 1ABC23 is a pretty obvious example. Here's another. And here's one more. For this problem, we'll keep the letters different. No repeats. So. Before I reveal the solution to this tricky problem, pause the video and see if you can determine the probability that all the letters are in alphabetical order. We're going to attack this problem using two methods. First, we'll use an exhaustive enumeration approach, and then we'll solve using a clever combinatorics approach. Let's start with enumeration. Here's a typical license plate we're interested in. However, the first thing we'll do to simplify the problem is ignore the numbers since they're not a factor in this problem. Now, for plate ABC, we'll keep the first two letters the same and change the third letter one at a time, going from C all the way to Z. I'll record that as AB and in parentheses C dot 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 Z. How many plates is that? 24. We kept the first two letters constant and changed the remaining 24. Now that we're done with AB, let's move to AC. We'll record that as AC and in parentheses show the final letter that keeps all the letters in proper alphabetical order going from D to Z. How many this time? 23. And I'll do the same for AD, and that will give us 22 plates. And now let's accelerate this process and go all the way to the final two letters, which would be AY, leaving us only with Z as the final letter. And that gives us one plate. That wraps up all the plates beginning with A. Now let's work on the plate starting with B. We'll first consider BC, which will yield 23 possible plates, then BD, which is 22 plates, and then we'll drill down all the way to BY, giving us one final plate. Now, if I repeat this process for every single starting letter from A to X, we'll create this triangular array of numbers representing all the possible plates that can be made. If we can add up all these numbers, we'll have the total number of alphabetized plates. The question is, how on earth do we add these up in an efficient manner? We flip the array around, starting with 1 and work our way up to 24. Do you see a pattern in the sum of the numbers in each column? You got it, they're triangular numbers. They form the familiar pattern 
1, 3, 6, 10, and so on. They're called triangular numbers because they form equilateral triangles each time you add an extra dot to each new layer of the previous triangle. And notice how the sum of the dots in each of the triangles corresponds to the number in the sum below. Now, if we could just add up all these triangular numbers up to the 24th triangular number, we'd have our answer. Fortunately, there's a handy formula that takes care of that for us. So, all we need to do is plug in n equals 24 into the formula. And after simplifying a tiny bit, we get the following. And notice the 6 goes into 24 four times. 4 times 25 is 100, and 100 times 26 is 2600. Nice! We got it! There are a total of 2,600 license plates in alphabetical order. But remember, in order to keep things simple, we didn't factor in the digits of the license plate. So, we'll do that next as we calculate the probability. The probability of randomly selecting an alphabetized plate is just the total number of alphabetized plates divided by the total possible plates. And that comes out to 2600 times 10 cubed divided by our total, which we calculated in our warm-up problem. Notice that I'm multiplying 2600 by 1000 since each one of those alphabetized plates that we calculated can be assigned to any one of 1,000 possible numerical arrangements. When we divide, we get our answer of 0 0.148. So, there's about a 15% chance you'll spot a car with alphabetized plates in this series, or about one in every seven. Now it's time for method number two, clever combinatorics. Let's consider a random selection of three different letters, say C, D, and R. Now let's list all their permutations. There are six in total. How many of them are alphabetized? Just one, CDR. So that means all we need to do is calculate the permutations of 26 letters taken three at a time and divide by six, which is exactly equivalent to 26 choose three. Plugging those values into the combination formula, we get the following which becomes this, and after simplifying, guess what? You get 2600. And this would, of course, yield the same probability of approximately 15%, which we got using enumeration. However, you'd have to agree that method two was a little bit faster. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing. Also, I'd love to get your feedback in the comments, especially if you know some cool license plate math problems that you'd like to share. Thanks for watching and see you soon.